Like, well, like Bill said to Monica, let's get this thing started. Woo-hoo. No, I'm, see, that's where I was going, and it was just <laughs> some low, low, low breath. hanging fruit. Just, that's good though. We need it every now and again. I'm gonna get suicided now. Careful. <laughs> Sorry, Clint. Well, you wouldn't be the first one this week. Yeah. There was a um, I was reading a story about a corrections officer just down in the in the in the Phoenix area. Really? Who was a whistleblower about some issues that were going on in one of the prisons down there who just miraculously ended up suicided yesterday. Gee. So the next time you think your government's not corrupt, people. I got news for you. Well, you know, I still think Clinton starts with a C. You know what else starts with C? Murder. Coronavirus. (laughs) Oh, all right. (laughs) They're behind it. They're behind it? It's it's a part of the reptilian Clinton. Let me put on my aluminum foil hat for a second. Okay. No, I like that. I mean, they do start with the same letter, and everyone knows. The things that start with the same letter, obviously, are connected. They're connected. Yes. Right. So malaria and Melania Trump. <laughs> I'm just like I yeah. Fair and balanced, people. Fair and balanced. We're gonna take shots at everybody today. Yeah, I was just like, yeah. Dang. I, yeah. I was so like, speaking of the of the coronavirus, because why not? We're we're here. We're, we're just on gonna it. Roll this one. We're just out gonna there? get it right going. Okay. Hey, welcome to the show, everybody. What's Thanks going for. On? Hey. Thanks for tuning in again. We like appreciate we you. Started it in we our just start nonsense. Talking. Yeah. Um, no, thank you guys so much again. Thanks for the continued support online. Um, encourage your friends to rate and review the podcast. Yeah, we've got some new viewers, and was it the Philippines? Philippines. What's up? Well, yeah, Philippines. We're, we're getting. We're going global with this thing. It's what, weird. What's up? States? But it's cool. <laughs> some states. Um. So, South by Southwest Festival. One of yeah. the biggest music festivals, um, you know, it's usually it's where recently a lot of like new up and coming bands will kind of get their big break. Right. Canceled due to the coronavirus. That's making it Austin. making it Is the only Austin? thing in the music industry or the entertainment industry that's been canceled without being accused of groping somebody. Wow. Just saying. Wow. Okay. So, so we've we got on a couple things there. So yeah. we've got. Yeah, I'm just. I'm on one today a little bit. So I, I'm I gonna take it. some shots at people, and okay. it is what it is. Okay. Deal with it. All right. So we've got South by Southwest is canceled. Right. The entire country of Italy is closed. Yeah. And Costco is no longer offering free samples. They, I didn't hear that one. Yeah, they, they have suspended their sample wow. program until this thing calms down. I think they need to calm down. I think it's so, like, too. I want my free samples. <laughs> like, Listen, I don't... W- I feel bad. I've got an aunt who lives on the East Coast, and that's right. how she e- eats lunch. I There's feel, I feel bad. Day. She's going to... Yeah. Where is she going to eat now? There's been many days where that has been my lunch. Where I'm like, you know what? Just cruise around, see what happens. I don't know what I feel, but it's like we yeah. got some salmon. It could be, got some yeah, it could different. be chicken sausage. Could be miso glazed salmon. Well, it's kind of like one of those things. Like some weekends, I just like the TV to pick what I'm gonna watch. Sure. Like I don't want to. Like I don't have a plan in mind. It's like so. Please, Costco, pick what I'm going to eat for lunch. Yeah. Well, it's it. it's like when you're driving. Th- you know, well, used to. We don't do this anymore because internets exist, okay. but. It's like when you, if you were driving through a remote stretch of road back in the day, you used to just hit the scan button on the radio and just be, you'd have to just be happy with whatever you caught. Just be surprised. Yeah. Surprised and happy. Could be old school country music. You know, you might get some Willie Nelson on the radio. You might get some weirdo talk radio show. You just don't know, but it's, is it better than silence? Sometimes. Agree. So agree. That's so, going to Costco for lunch. Yeah, no, some days it's just happy, you know, like, hey, if I'm gonna go to Costco, that's one of the benefits. Oh, it's, for sure. And I don't like waiting in a whole bunch of lines very often. I'm happy to do it. Yeah. At Costco. Yeah, people are like, Ugh, the line at the checkout has three people in it. It is so annoying. Yeah, and those yeah. same people will wait in a line nineteen people deep for a free chicken nugget. Yeah. 
So that's why you're just like, all right, cool. Go up and <laughs> do that thing. What is it? I don't know. I'm going to try it, though. <laughs> be like, I, I don't know what miso is, but right. miso going to eat it right <laughs> now. Miso hungry. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, but yeah, no. So Arnold's, are... Arnold's uh, bodybuilding competition was canceled. Yep. It's, I did watch the video of his kind of thing. And so it kind of, kind of makes sense, but it's, it just seems like a lot. I don't know if there's prices being affected more than here. Well, uh, apparently, I guess Italy has like the third largest infection rate, like okay. right behind China and, is it India? Well, I don't I, know if China has any more, and this is going to sound like a completely horrible, like I'm making a joke of it kind of them. But in China, there was a building that collapsed that housed all the people infected with coronavirus. Clinton. <laughs> they had the, they had the goods. I'm, I'm, they had the goods. Again, I'm, I'm on one. One of those people, one of those people probably tried to leak pictures of the newest, the new next year's iPhone. Right. They knew where the coronavirus came from, and so they're just like... And the ghost of Steve Jobs just... Boop, just dropped whoops. it. Whoops. Yeah. Um, so, I think everyone... That's ever, my that's my favorite. Like, that was my favorite conspiracy right out of the gate with the when, when the coronavirus started becoming news. It was people taking pictures of the back of their cans of Lysol. And you're like, how come, how come coronavirus is new... Right. But it's been on Lysol containers for years. Oh. Yeah. It, uh, I often not... wonder if stupidity has physical pain associated with it. You ever wonder that? Yeah. I like, know. you're so dumb that I don't know how your brain knows to tell your lungs to breathe automatically. Right. Do you have to yeah. physically do that? Is there a pump somewhere you're that's just gonna, helping like, hey. you out? Because you're stupid. Well, yes. Well, and well, segueing. Listen, I'll own it. So I did a I did a post the other day on my business page that I happen to own a gas mask. Yes. So I did a layout on the table of nitrile gloves, you know, hand sanitizer, gas mask, everything you know. but the pistols and grenades. Right. Just because, like, not that you have grenades. That it was, and even if you do, it's too nobody's far. business. I might know where one is. I'm just kidding. Um, but it was, I did that picture and just said, Hey, I'm going out to show a bunch of houses tomorrow, getting everything ready, you know, kind of thing. And I got a couple of phone calls. One might've been from my parental units that were like, did you, did you really like wear that to show houses? I'm like, no, I, I didn't really do that. It was just kind of. Making fun. There's of, these things called jokes. Yeah, I know I'm not great. <laughs> I don't know if you're familiar with. Them. I know I'm not great. No, but there was a couple people, and I did one, you know, a couple weeks ago of the the new billboard. Given the meteor yeah. strikes here in the area, and people we got actually meteor strikes. It was, we got pandemic level virus right. going around. It's the Prescott area, you know. And I do know some people that are very, starts with an earthquake. Some. People are That's very, very RM concerned. I, I did get it. That's why I was just not feeding into it. I was like, this world's not flat. Sure. World of <laughs> vampire. That's right. Everybody <laughs> knows that the world is not flat. The world is because a the world is a vampire. Um, but yeah, no, it's yeah. Can people buy into it? But I do know a couple of people that are taking it very, very seriously Listen, and talking about quarantining themselves because they do have some other health. Related they're already and, immune suppressed they've got compromised immune systems correct so the very old the very young people who have respiratory issues already right i get it the rest of you need to wash your freaking hands and guess what stop touching your face during speeches about not touching your face don't touch your face (laughs) that was pretty great um, it's just and built in. Here. I don't know if may, I, apparently this isn't common knowledge. So public service announcement. Okay. Um, toilet paper is completely useless against the coronavirus. Give it a shot. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You know what? Here's here's what you can do. If you're if you think that you need to stock up on toilet paper to a level 
of biblical proportions. Right. Here's how the here's how that toilet paper can help you combat the coronavirus. Simply replace all of your meals with that toilet paper. Two ply. Until you starve to death. Yeah. <laughs> well, I do want to go. Just I don't know if I'm going to go to come Wal- on Walmart or I would say Costco, but you know they're all out. They're all out. But I'm going to make myself a little fort. And just get a picture and just be like, this is me in my bunker. <laughs> you should. You should. If, that's what I'm going to do. You got to get to Costco. Here, it's You got to get the, the right. Everything has to. The stars have to align here. Right. Because you need to go to Costco on a day where they, A, actually have toilet paper in right. stock. And B, are also trying to sell sheds inside oh, the fantastic. store. Because then you can just build up a little tower of toilet paper around the shed. Yeah. Fantastic. You've got everything you need to make a little prepper hideout inside Costco. And just stay there all day. Yeah. And just be like, this is this is my bunker now. Yeah. This yeah. is where I live. Be exercising in the shed. On their on their elliptical <laughs> that they're trying to sell. Just get out there, you know, practice some piano. Yeah. Just you gotta have cultural enrichment. That's where I'm going. And then you could probably and this is where you get kicked out. I didn't kick it. But worth it. No, 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 not yet. Okay. But it's worth it. Okay. What you do is you you put all the toilet paper in your shed. Right. Step one. Line the walls. Yeah. Inside and out. Enough. There's enough space for you to build a chair again out of the toilet paper and sit on it. Correct. There is no other room in this bunker. All the furniture, everything is toilet paper. It's toilet paper. Right. So then... What you do is when you see people walk by without toilet paper in their cart, you'd be like, Psst. Hey. hey, five bucks, I can put this in your cart for you. Or I should just go around stealing everyone's toilet paper out of their out carts. Out of their carts when they're, when they're not looking. Got their head turned. Be like, <laughs> when they're looking for the free samples. <laughs> nope. Set up a, see free, that, that free, a fake free sample booth just to track them right in front. And yeah. Just like a Yoink. toilet paper troll. Just. <laughs> Take everybody's toilet paper. That would be such a funny video to make, though, <laughs> because it's just you sneaking up to people's carts with like the Pink Panther theme song playing in the background. Right. Like, hmm. yeah, just taking the toilet paper. Is there a pizza? And leave the pizza. Take the take the toilet take paper. paper. <laughs> and it's and it, and it works until a small Hispanic girl comes up and says, "Swipe or no swiping?" Three times. Fantastic. Or in this case, oh man, swiper, no wiping. wiping. There it is. I feel like there's going to be some kind of image by the end of the day <laughs> of swiper, no oh, wiping. Man. So yeah, can we not? I just can we friggin' not? It's like listen, always be prepared. Sure. I think this is going to be the apart. This isn't going to be it. Uh. Uh-uh. But- gonna happen it's the chemtrails chemtrails it's the chemtrails that was another fun fun thing in our local facebook groups this you got involved in that one well only in as much as tying five conspiracies together as to why there was chemtrails and expertly yeah thank you very much no it went who knows maybe maybe those chemtrails are what's spreading the coronavirus see i missed an opportunity there's another c chemtrails coronavirus. coronavirus Clinton's. Clinton's done two, two shots right here. Boom, boom, boom. It's kind of like Beetlejuice. I've said two in the chest, I've one in the dome. Three times now. <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> don't don't look in the mirror and say Clinton's three times. I'll, I'll, send, you, I'll send your wife my condolences. It's, it's party time. <laughs> oh, oh man, I'm starting it today. So, yeah, um. You know, wash your hands, keep some hand sanitizer on, on hand for yourselves, and uh, try not to get suicided by corrupt government officials. The notes of the day. Those, you know, that's how we're starting this. That's how we're starting this week's podcast off. Pretty much. So, so yeah, no, I haven't. Good times. We have equally both been crazy busy. It's this been last a week. week. It's been a week. I feel like I haven't seen you very much, but I've seen you. I have enough. But we've just been going in different directions, Fair and so, what's that? What? Well, huh? I didn't. Hear, I honestly didn't hear you. 
I was like, I'd love to play into this joke right now. But you, you'll I hear really, it on the playback. It's okay. Like, I watch our videos. <laughs> like, anybody watches. No, thank you for watching. Hey, I know. Right? People in the Philippines watch. No, I, well, or they I, listen. I, I don't know if they're watching. I don't have that kind last, of. Yeah. Over the last week, though, I, we did have somebody tell us that we're not funny enough. Hmm. I was like, hey, you know what? You're adopted. <laughs> no, <I'm> just. <laughs> So you're saying it was one of your kids who said we weren't funny enough. No, honestly, it was not one of my kids. But, oh, man. Um, no, it was. And they're not adopted. I guess I should put that bullet point on there. There's, Maybe they yeah. are. How do you know? Do you know their family life? Was it your brother? No. No. <laughs> no. no. And no. And no. Um, no, but we had one of our. Tucker and the Beard fans, it was like, oh, yeah. Watch the last one. It wasn't oh, as funny. New country. Chili. What? Chili. The country in uh-huh. South America. Okay. I'm just looking at the podcast stats right oh, now. Oh, we got it. I don't Chile know. Chili and Australia. Other... Well, See? What's up? What's up? What's up, Chili? What's up, G'day. Australia? Good day. Good day. I just said that as, as American as I probably could have. So, um, yeah, we got we got awesome. two new ones this week. That's What's awesome. up? Welcome to the madness. Yes. Appreciate you. Top 10 Netflix. Are you ready for it? I haven't go watched a ton of Netflix. I haven't last... either. I know that there's been some like, It's new been shows. one of those months where I go, uh, wish yeah. I wouldn't have paid for it this month. Well, it's been one of those I was actually talking about because we, you know, if you're a long time listener, first time caller, um, know that it, we used to. Do the movies. Go to the movie theater every, yeah. every week and do that, which we'll still do sometimes, but we wouldn't have had the time in the last couple no. of weeks to be able to do that. Nope, nope, nope. So it's just one of those, even as much as I hate it when people are like, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. We've been, yeah, we've been tied up with some things and stuff. Things that make us money. Yes. So, which is good. Never complaining on it. No, not at all. In fact, you know, listen, if this paid as much as that paid, then I would do this instead. And we'd do five, I'd do five episodes a week if I could make the kind of money I'm making doing real estate. Yeah. Well, I, I might have to support us on Patreon. (laughs) And I've, I I might've said that to some family over the last couple of days because there was a family, I had some family from out of town that came in. For the day, and they were doing a family dinner. Well, I was out slinging Working. some real estate yeah. at that time, and I was like, hey, um, I, I can't make it, you know? Um, so, sorry. Well wishes and all that good stuff. And they're like, oh, that's unfortunate. I'm like, I mean, unless you want to pay me what I'm going to make, make yeah. to go to dinner, then I'm, I'm happy to do that. Yeah. Don't want to be that guy, but... That's kind of one of those days. But here we are. Right. So. It happens from time to time. It's uh, the life of the self-employed. There you go. So, but hit me with some Netflix because I need, I know that there's a whole bunch of new shows that have come out that. Yeah. So there's. The interwebs and the last time we talked about. about the top 10, it, it, they announced that it was happening, but it hadn't quite been updated yet. So. Okay. The number one Netflix thing in the United States. Okay. Is the new Mark Wahlberg thriller, Spencer Confidential. Oh, is that out? And then I watched also... a little bit of it last okay. night um, just because I wanted to see if it was going to be worth finishing. Right. Looks like it will be. Nice. Um, so, um, Love is Blind. Okay. I've heard Which about, is heard people more talking about reality it, drivel. Okay. That I'm, I'm just not a... It's not my, my cup of tea. At the end of the day. So, Fantastic. um, the trials of Gabriel Fernandez, which I, uh, I can't bring myself to watch. It's, it's about, um, there's a, a kid who was abused and no, ended out. up dying. And I, I just, yeah, I, I can't do those things. Um, angry birds Two, Oh, um, the Netflix original paradise PD Okay, coming in hot at number six though. Okay. Space Jam. Ooh, Space Jam came in. All right. Before... Hit the top 10. To get ex- people excited about Space Jam 2 that's coming out. Because 
everyone asked for that. Yeah. Um, with some LeBron James and Bugs mm-hmm. Bunny, I'm guessing. I think it's just a weird time because when the original Space Jam, I'm about to go off on a whole Space Jam thing. Sorry. Hit it. Well, I thought about this the other day because I was picking up my son from high school and a kid comes walking out with like a Space Jam shirt or a hat on and I was like, my, did I go back in time? Did my Jeep become a DeLorean, like a time machine for a second? Like, And and if it did, why are you driving 88 miles an hour on city streets? I don't, yeah. Shame on you. Like, I don't know if I've ever gone 88 miles an hour in my Jeep. <laughs> I don't know if I could. They don't, they don't love it. Yeah. <laughs> they don't do well. And that's what I was thinking the other day. I'm like, if I ever get stopped for going over a hundred, because that's as far as it goes. But if yeah. like, I there's been many times where I'm like, oh man, I feel like I'm going fast. I'm going like five under the speed limit. Yeah, it happens many many a times. Um, it's not like my minivan. That thing just goes. Those things, buggy and don't feel like it. Mm-mm. So it's the exact opposite for the Jeep. But anyways, going to my time traveling Space Jam, thing, that it's. Like, nobody asked for that in the first place, but Warner Brothers and Looney Tunes and stuff like that were huge at the time. Oh, yeah. I like, mean, we had in. we had the Tiny Toon Adventures. Blue Ball go in the hole. Yeah. Tiny Toon Adventures were fantastic. Yeah. But it, like, okay, it was more okay, of a hold thing. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Sorry. Side note. We, we, Welcome to the what beer we show. Yeah. Go ahead. No, no, no. So, Tiny <laughs> Toons right. or Animaniacs? I'd probably, uh, I'd probably still go Looney Tunes. Okay. There's just more classic All characters. Right. All right. Animaniacs was good. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, that, that, was, just that was my hard Just wondering where you're at. You right, right. I'm, 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 I'm firmly in Team Animaniacs. But, it's fantastic. But yeah. If they brought that back, I would not be upset. But it was I was always more in the Disney team than the Looney Tunes team sure. anyways. Yeah. But I enjoyed Looney Tunes, the classic kind of Looney Tunes. But of it was course. bigger at the time when the first Space Jam came out. People, There's going to be kids that have no idea who Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck and Porky Pig get any of that. You know what I mean? It's true. So if you started Sad. out, if you started out like, hey, bringing back some Looney Tunes cartoons. Yeah, like. Like re- rebooting that a little bit. Let's warm up the oven up. before we. Because people are going to have no idea other than that it's a cartoon with lebron james gonna have any idea what's going on and again when and no one asked for this no because at the time you know think think back when did when did space jam come out uh 90 i don't know oh i'm about to tell you okay do that thing 1996 right all right okay okay so in 1996 our previous experiences with mixed medium film. Okay. Right. Animation. Right. And live actors at the same time. Correct. We had Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit. Who framed Roger Rabbit. And Cool World. Yeah. Cool World was and a little bit more. Was, cool World was, was more for more, the adults. Correct. But it was. But there. regardless. Right. Some Brad Pitt, some Kim Basinger. But. And then we had Space Jam. Right. And then they kind of stopped doing the whole let's pair cart and and oh, we cannot forget the classic Paula Abdul music video. Oh, yeah. For opposite for attract. Opposite attract. Yeah. So, that can't forget that. Yeah, that's fantastic. But you know, they kind of stopped doing that though. Right. Where they were putting people you know, with animated cartoons. with You want to know why? Because people Cause it sucks. Because <laughs> listen, I'm a, a they got better doing computer animation, right. so it, it became somewhat unnecessary. Yeah, I'm I'm a huge fan of. I enjoyed Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Love out it. of those, yeah, of, I'm that's my favorite three. of the three. Um, I could still sit down and and watch it. I think it was fantastic. Um, and what they were trying to do, they were trying to do their own little thing. Not yeah. Like, They're like, Hey, what if we made who framed Roger rabbit, but not for kids. Right. And so, and they did. Right. And it was congratulations. Right. So it was one of those, I like that, but again, it, it became a thing where no one, no one was asking for that thing. No, but it's just, it's just so shocking to me that space jam two is going to be a thing. There's so we're in so 2020. Many, when is it supposed to come out? Uh, I think 2021 or 20, do the internet to do the, 
to the interwebs. Um, yeah, there's so many things that are happening that we didn't ask for, but that has kind of got first place on the podium to me that no one, uh, when, no, there, there, I just saw a thing it's coming out in 2021. So okay. the reason I, we're talking about a 25 year gap between, between sequels. Come on. Yeah, and it's just... Also, Henry Cavill is going to reprise his role as Superman, but also in Space Jam 2. Yeah. <laughs> so, that made speaking me quit. of, that speaking made of me quit. things that'll make you quit, um, but things that, make, that might not make you quit, have you seen that Johnny Depp has been pegged as potentially the Joker to... Um, Robert Pattinson's Batman? Oh, I'd be in. 100% I'd be in. That's one of those people. I did see a little thing on it, but I you see a lot of fake casting kind of stuff. Um, like Yeah, like and, and I should clarify that this is just... Well, yeah, that's a little... <laughs> But no, I did see that. They're like, Danny DeVito would be the perfect replacement as Wolverine. And I'm like, okay, let's get serious. Yeah. We're talking about superhero movies here. Only it's, thing Danny DeVito the real thing. should ever be is the penguin. It's true. Um, no, it's, but speaking of Henry Cavill, he was eyed as a possible new Wolverine. Um, still no. Yeah, in my opinion, still no. Frankly, I've seen, some... and I know, I know, this is going to sound super weird though. But you know who would actually make a better Wolverine if we're talking about people that we're already talking about? Okay, Robert Pattinson <laughs> would make a better Wolverine than Henry Cavill. Actually, he'd probably make a good. He's immortal, anyways. Yeah, I mean, so he's got that going for him. The whole vampire, yeah. Thing. You know, sparkly vampire. Sparkles thing. in the sun, too. I'm, listen, before this movie comes out, because once this movie comes out, he is going to be the new Batman. So the sparkly vampire jokes are probably going to stop. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to throw some out there yeah, listen, while I can. Pattinson, we are 100% pulling for you, bro. Yeah. Like, I, I want nothing more than for him to knock this out of the park yeah. and shut every single hater hater. Down. I think it's going to happen. Everybody's going to be like, oh, it's a new stand. We they was did, wrong. They did release. So they've. Oh, they, she's the new Batmobile? Yeah, that's Woo-hoo! what I was going to say. So they're going, oh, they're going classic with it. Oh, it looks so good. I yeah. love it. Like, because I'll be honest, that was one of the things about the Nolan trilogy that I was like, really? Was the Tumblr. Yeah. It's awesome. It's super cool, but it's not a Batmobile. Yeah, was it just a tank? What I li- what I liked about the it was Nolan- a jumping tank. Yeah, what I liked about the Nolan ones is that it was realistic. Like, yeah, as realistic as it can right. be. That they made it a realistic Batman movie. Um, for sure, for sure. So that it was like, hey, this could really happen. There could be a tank. Then it's like, hey, yes. this is the new Batmobile. But this is going a classic. I don't know enough about cars, but it it looks like an old muscle car. Yeah. Somebody I was like, it, it was, was like a, a Fast and the, you know, Fast and Furious. It's Dom's yeah, it look, it could be Dominic Toretto's car. Yeah, because you know, family. <laughs> it's everything. Ends up with brothers that didn't know anything about. Sorry, I go on my little Fast and the Furious soapbox. But I did. We did post that thing on our Facebook page. Go like yes. that if you haven't already. Of what the inside of the trucks look like from the original. <laughs> Yeah, it's Just yeah. This definitely VCRs. looks like a Dodge Challenger to me. Okay. Just kind of taking a second look at it. Probably got some NOS from Harry's. Well, you know, if he knows what he's doing, he's definitely running at least three Honda Civics with spoon engines. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you need to do that thing. Yeah. And a Motec system exhaust. I don't know the quote as okay. well, but it's a fantastic quote of Hector's running three Honda Civics. <laughs> Yeah, this thing, I'm looking at a picture of it right now. It looks awesome. And it, it definitely looks like it is a a Dodge Challenger variant. Right. Because I think it's, it's year two. I think it's, it's awfully pretty. I think Batman, it's like Batman year two. So, and going back to Johnny Depp, the only yeah. issue I would have with that is just simply age. The age thing. Yeah. You know, 
That's my only Robert's thing only this, 32, but... 33 years old versus Depp, who's got to be pushing 60. Oh, I think he can pull. Totally I mean, do he's it. immortal, kind of like um, the man who played his father in that Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Um, oh, stupid what? blank brain right now. I don't Plays know guitar like. for the Rolling Stones. Oh, I was like, Robert Plant. No, no, I, that is not. Um, um, why did you make me go blank? On that? I, uh, why did I go blank? I'm I don't gonna, even know what's happened. People are going to send us some hate mail. Well, it's like I joke about this guy and his immortality right along Betty White um, all the time. So you would it's think heavy. that I would know his name. And Dirt. his name is Keith Richards. Keith Richards. And it so beat me to it. he is immortal. Yes. Like Keith Richards and Betty yes. White. Um, I think, listen, if I was to cast a, a Batman, if I was going to make a Batman movie right now, right now, right now, and right they're now. like, you can cast whoever you want. Okay. I'd probably go William Defoe as the Joker, but then it would but have who to be, would be a the older, Batman. You'd have to get somebody. You would have to, me- you'd have to monkey around with the age thing again. Harrison Ford. Done. No, Don't. I'll never stand by Harrison Ford as a Batman. Because it'd be old. Listen, it'd be a Batman Beyond. Movie. It would be like the new Batman's coming in. Old Batman is just older, grumpy as hell. Batman Arkham Retirement Home. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes. No, just old man. Batman's Gotham PD work. finally gets fed up with Batman and his vigilante bullcrap, and so they lock him up. And he's in a he's in a retirement home for the criminally insane along with the Joker. Tell me you wouldn't watch that movie. They don't know that it's Batman. He just has to be there with all of them. Or kind of going back to the end he's of, like, Get off of Joker. <laughs> kind of going back to the end of Joker. Right. Right. Where we don't know. Spoiler alert. If you what haven't seen a, se- a movie that's been out for seven months, I'm yeah. Sorry. Spoiling it for you right and now. I've watched it one time and I'm and, good. And I'm good. Yeah. But at the end of the movie, you don't under you don't fully know if it's all in his head or not. Correct. What was and true. what if it was? Right. And that's where we find see, you can end you can end a Batman trilogy or something with this scene of just of Harrison Ford in a retirement home. Right. Thinking that he was Batman the whole time, but it's just been a bout of dementia. Right. Whoo. And it's yeah. it is. And it's just the that one, you know, orderly that comes in and tries to make him laugh. Yeah. That's it's, your Joker. That's the Joker. And you know, you know there's a there's psycho. a short, chubby orderly who always wears black and white scrubs, and that's right. your penguin right. and Yeah. Ending. Done. And he was just crazy. But Harrison Ford would make a good old Bruce Wayne, ready to retire. Sure, I can see that. I'm just writing my own little Batman. I can see that, but you know, you, you. I mean, you mentioned Willem Dafoe. Yeah, and he could also. He can also pull in that same, kind of classy, vibe. Yeah, and he could be a good Bruce Wayne, like an old Bruce Wayne. Okay. All right, Ricardo Montalban. I don't. Think I don't he, even. I don't think, think he's, he's with. I don't he's think no he's still longer still with us. Sorry. Rest in peace, Ricardo. I'm trying yeah. to think of of other older gentlemen I was that like, could heck with it. Bring in some Mark Hamill and Kevin Conroy, make it happen. Just voice, but you, I mean, no, you know who actually could have pulled off a more mature Batman hmm. is the current James Bond, Daniel Craig. Yeah, okay. I think I obviously we know he can pull off the yeah the Bruce Wayne side of things right. because he's. James Bond, yeah. but it'd be kind of, you know, he could pull off like a more mature, you know, Batman in his fifties. Yeah. Way better than Batfleck. Listen, sometimes it's like seventh heaven. Actors are okay, but the writing and everything, not great. I don't know why I said seventh heaven. That was the yeah, first thing well, that I like, thought really? of. Really? You, no, went, but you went with seventh heaven on that one. No, but Interesting. <laughs> Listen, I'm bringing the jokes because evidently it's not <laughs> funny enough. But no, um, going to the fact of if you ever saw an episode of Seventh Heaven, you go, was the acting bad? 
or was the writing sure horrible? and and that's the it's, well, it's, it's the, the daredevil American paradox Ninja. right it's the daredevil paradox was the writing horrible and the acting they did what they could with it well it's it's how it's how much of the poor performance was the acting and how much of the poor performance was the writing right you can only be Colin Farrell being bullseye so seriously like true do you know what I mean like he had some weird lines he spent the whole time wondering if Jennifer when Jennifer Garner was going to ask what's in your wallet yeah saying nach- nacho nacho Elect- Electra Nacho. Come on. Yeah. Her last name is Nachos. <laughs> Again, what are you going to do with that? They didn't make it up. So, but, I mean, no, I'm just... I don't know. I'm not saying that Ben Affleck wasn't... That he was entirely to blame. Yeah. But I'm saying that he also didn't have zero culpability. But see, you know, and we'll we'll go off on a big thing because I get, I I don't know what it is, but I'm I'm rooting for Ben. I'm rooting for Ben Affleck. I've heard he's getting amazing reviews for his new movie that I can't remember. Where he's a basketball coach. Yes, the way way back or something like way that. way back. Yeah, something like that. I know he's like him being a recovering alcoholic, so I think he's bringing a lot of his real life, yeah, you know, into it. But I've I've heard amazing things about. It him in that movie no i've been seeing some good reviews oh speaking of movies that we've been meaning to see okay and i did finally take a, a little bit of time this weekend to check out mm-hmm. knives out yes i want to see it oh man it is on my list it is i'm not saying anything new obviously the movie's been yeah. out since like december or whatever but such a great movie and right. all the little twists and turns and you just it's just that good yeah i know my son saw it, it was really really good yeah my son saw it in the theater and he's thus far done very well of not spoiling but now i'll things, even go as far to say is it would be leaking. difficult to spoil but not like he's he said certain things where it's like i don't delve into what he said too much because it's starting to you know he's 14 He's been holding the the lid on this can for months now, so I got gotcha. you. I need to see it before it's he full blown just says because evidently there is a sequel possibly in the works. Oh, yeah. I don't support that concept. Just saying. Listen, they're rebooting there was, Mighty Ducks. There was let, let shades him. of of Clue in right. this movie. It, it was just it was. Everything that I was hoping it was going to be, nice. which is so very rare. Right. When I when I see a movie that I've hyped up in my own head because I like the concept or I like one of the actors or something right. like that, often I'm disappointed. Right. And this was not the case. Fantastic. This was a really good one. Fantastic. They. I know that you have not seen this, and we did not talk about this before, and you are still not going to watch this even after I say it. Okay. But just so you know, they released the trailer for Disney's The Jungle Cruise today. So So I don't even care if I spoil that movie for myself. I get you. I'm just like Because you know what it's gonna be? It's gonna be Jumanji Light. Yeah, it's going to be a version of Jumanji. Jumanji. Yeah. I do feel that because I've seen the last two Jumanji movies with Dwayne the Rock Johnson mm-hmm. that were fantastic. I feel like this is going to be a step. I almost Bad. wish he wouldn't have been in it. Yeah, that's going to be horrible because it's nothing against him. He's a great actor, but it's just see, I I wouldn't go that far, but I like I like the Rock. Yeah, but the Rock has two characters. Yeah, and it's the Rock and Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, it's and so. Is he going to be The Rock in this movie? Or Pretty is he going much. to be Dwayne Johnson? Listen, I finally... I think The Rock is the... You know, yeah. The Rock, for for those who don't... Who aren't picking up what we're putting down right now. Smell what the... What <laughs> if, we're they're, if they're not smelling what we are cooking at this exact moment, the character The Rock is the character that you've seen in Jumanji. Right. That's where the character Dwayne Johnson is the character that you've seen in The Fast and the Furious. 
Oh, I suppose he has yeah. he has the um the half Dwayne. Right. Is which is the one that he plays in the children's movies. The, that he does, the like, Tooth Fairy and yeah. right. Um so he's got three point. he's got three modes. And he hasn't So he doesn't have a huge range, but I still I like him. I think he's a Yeah. Again, sometimes you just you you read about people and you you see how they act in the world. Right. And you just kind of understand that they're probably really cool people. Yeah, I'm going to put one more character in there, and I know you haven't watched this yet, but it was the HBO show Ballers. Okay, yeah. Which was more adult. I mean, it was HBO. Yeah. But it was more the rock adult version. If there's the, you know, the Tooth Fairy, then there's his character Spencer, which is... He's He's the opposite of the kid. Friendly... Yeah. yeah, but I mean, he wasn't the bad guy. He, you were rooting for him, but he would just make a lot of bad decisions. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was, there's that version of it too, but it's kind of, it was like they took his character from Jumanji and just put it in the Jungle Cruise. So yeah. as much as I'm rooting for it, because I'm like, hey, that could be cool. I don't know. We'll see. And I like I'm Disney. Sure it'll be fine. I like Disney movies. I'm sure it'll be I fine. enjoy them. I haven't gone, we haven't gone and seen the new Pixar outing yet. I don't. I'm tired it just of being didn't. depressed. I'm tired of being Pixar depressed. It, yeah, it just it didn't. I don't know. I I went. I, I did see you know, whatever theatrical trailers for it, and I was like, right. eh, right. Just didn't strike me as yeah. anything. Yeah. So. No, um, I'm with you. So yeah, that's where that's where we're sitting yeah. for this week. I don't know. I. I I feel like if I say anything more, I'll have to say a lot more. I know. I was like, I'm trying so, to. And uh, because, I yeah. got work to do. So. Yeah, me too. Anyway, to start. thank you guys again, as thank always, you, so you. much for being a part of this, um, for, again, all the support that you show. Uh, we can't thank you enough, so Absolutely. we won't try. Yeah. <laughs> Until next time, he's Tucker. He's the Beard. And we are out.